Hello. Now today is Friday. Praise God. This week has been a blessed week. Praise God. And, and God is doing many, many things in your life. You don't understand what God is doing behind the scene. Like I began to tell you on Monday, He's doing everything to you. See to your welfare, don't you? See, you don't understand God's love. If you do, you will relax. If you do, you know, some of you, the, the challenge is coming days from now and you're already panicking. Relax. God has your welfare at heart. And not only does he think of it, he has done everything. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So are we ready to call for today's daily bread? Hallelujah. Are you ready? Praise God. All right, let's go say this with me. Say, Father, I demand and I receive my daily bread today. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, praise God. It's coming to you. Hallelujah. A miracle is taking place today. Let me tell you something. This weekend is going to be your best weekend ever. I'm telling you, you are receiving a good news that will make you dance. Thank you, Jesus. Say amen to that. Hallelujah. All right, then. Let's pray. Father, we give you praise today, Lord. All week, you've been making us see what you mean by we bringing forth fruit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because we submit more and more to you, that you fulfill every heart that is in the Father, every idea in the Father concerning us be made manifest in our lives. Thank you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen. Praise God. All right, now we, we have been talking about being the branch you know our topic is the things concerning salvation so we are the branch he is the vine we are connected to him and we are the ones that bear fruit and yesterday i showed you what it what fruits means he is not talking about many fruits he is talking about one fruit and then we saw in galatians 5 22 to 23 the the quality of the fruits that we bear. Everything we do, we must see love inside. Everything we do, we must see joy inside. That's why you don't do things grumbling. No, we don't do things grumbling. You see, it's, it's, it's one thing. Now you remember Jesus said, by their fruits, you will know them. He didn't say by their fruits, you will know them. He said by their fruit. So, what is the fruit? That's what he's saying here. If someone is not doing something out of love, that's not the fruit. If you don't see joy in what the person is doing, that's not the fruit. So when someone is squeezing, say, I'm just obeying you. See, because God said I should obey. If not, then, you know, people do that in the house of God. I, I don't understand. You, you are serving in the house of God and then you are grumbling and you are complaining. No joy in you. You better go look for a job outside. Not, don't stay in the house of God to do that. Because you are destroying yourself. How is it destroying? You are destroying yourself. Because when you grumble, you, you can be a partaker of the blessing. The Bible says, <laughs> you have got to be willing and obedient. You can be obedient and unwilling. See, that's when someone forces you, I'm just doing this, so if not that, uh, uh, if not that I respect pastor, I wouldn't be doing this. You're not willing. That's what you're saying. You're saying, I'm not willing. This is not what I would do normally. But you're doing it. I'm just obeying you. Hey, you are cheating yourself. If you are giving any instruction and you make up your mind, it's, it's better you make up your mind not to do that thing and say, sorry, I, I love you. I love this place, but I, I, I can't do this right now. If you are going to do that thing, then you must accept it in your heart first. That is the right thing for you to do. That's where you bring in your willingness. See? So you must be willing and then you're obedient. If not, you just wasted your time. No result, no reward will come to you. You will not see any good. Take it from me because it's the truth. So Jesus said, by their fruits, you will know them. 
So he set out people to do work for him. And then he said, what we should look at, look out for, is not the work they are doing. We should look at the fruits that they are producing. How do you find the fruits? In them, he's just told us how. Is there love there? Is there joy? Is there long suffering? Is there gentleness? Is there gentleness? See me, I'm not a gentle person. Who's talking? A believer full of the Holy Ghost. No, you're not full of the Holy Ghost. You've not submitted yourself to the Holy Ghost. Let me just say, I'm not a gentle person. No, I'm not a gentle. No, 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 you don't talk like that. You are gentle. Praise God. Yes, you are. Why? Because your life is controlled now by the Holy Spirit. And he's the one that controls your mood. See, my problem is that I just have mood swings. You know, you know, many things people go, Pastor, please pray for me. I, 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 I lack at my problems. I don't have patience. You know, like the, the, the Archbishop Benson that was just shared, that someone came to him and said, um, man of God, pray for me. He said, what's it? Pray for me for the gift of patience. He said, when do you want? He said, I want it now. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. So, so you see, I, I say, I don't have patience. Or like we say, you know, we say, ah, you're testing my patience. You are testing my patience. Yes, they should test your patience because it's there. Produce it. It's as simple as that. I say, hey, when I run out of patience, you will know. How can you run out of it? Jesus said, don't only bear fruit, but let the fruit remain. So if you can show patience to one, then show patience to all. That's what it means by your fruit should remain. If there is love in you today, then there should be love in you every day. That is what it means for your fruit to remain. If you've got long suffering to one, then long suffering should function. That is where your fruit should remain. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me read something to you. Luke. Luke chapter 13 from verse 6. Jesus speaking here in parable. He says, He spake also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. And he came and sought fruits thereon and found none. He had this fig tree. So he came to look for fruits. He didn't see. Then verse 7 says, Then he said unto the dresser of the vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why cumbarest it the ground? Did you see that? The fig is not producing fruit. So he says, look, cut it down. Guess what he said, the, 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 the vine dresser said. And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also till I shall, I, till I shall dig about it and dung it. So I'll dig around, then I'll put dung around it. And if it bear fruit, well. And if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. Now what does this mean? It means God himself comes to inspect our life. And when he comes, what is he looking for? He is looking for fruit. And the thing about the fruit is the fruit has quality. You've got to be complete to be, you've got to have all the nutrients. These are all the nutrients to produce that fruit. And if you are not producing that fruit, easily you can be cut away. Jesus said it. Any branch that is not bringing forth fruit, what happens? He cuts. Now, let's look at it. John chapter 15. John 15. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It says, Abide in me, verse 4, John 15, 4, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except you abide in me. This is how we bear fruit. Not just that we are connected, we willingly abide in him. Now, this abide in him is something you do mentally as Stay connected to the Lord Jesus Christ. How do you stay connected to the Lord Jesus Christ? You take everything to him and run everything through him. Every thought, everything you want to do, you run it. What was the mind of God concerning this thing? Holy Spirit, what, what, what's on your mind concerning this? This decision I'm planning to take, what do you think? This should be your day-to-day -day living. Now that is how to abide. Oh, you want to go into a relationship? Lord, 
I'm, I'm beginning to like this person. Whatever, maybe business relationship or the relationship that leads to marriage or whatever. I'm, I'm beginning to like this person for this reason. What do you think about this person? That should be your lifestyle. That is the abiding. Now, when you abide that way, now that is when the Holy Spirit will begin to produce the fruit in you. He says, thank you, Holy Spirit. If, verse 6, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are born. When you don't produce fruit, you go. Thank you, Jesus. If ye abide in me and my word abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Note this. He said, if you abide in me and my word. You see, because when you ask him, Lord, what do you think about this thing I want to do? What do you think he's going to do? He's going to speak to you. So he tells you, mm -mm -mm. Oh, slow down. When he tells you, slow down, how do you let that abide in you? You slow down. Now, you, you are come. Hey, come, let's go for, um, thank you. I would have loved to go, but not now. Please just give me some time. I'm trying to sort out some things. Why is he saying that? Because he told you, don't go. That is allowing his word to abide in you. Hey, guess what is going to be seen outside? Fruits. This is how we bear fruit. Someone offends you, you want to get angry, you go before the Lord and say, Lord, this person has really offended me. And guess what? He tells you, no, the person is right. Say, so how's the person right? Hey, look at it this way, look at it. Oh, whoa, oh, this person was even helping me. Ah, ah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah, you have changed your mind. Now, what will the outsider see? Fruit. He will see love. He will see gentleness. I, I offended that guy. The guy didn't even say anything. They see love, but we see him. Hallelujah. They see the fruit, but we see him. This is how it works. It's not, Father, I pray for love, love, and then you go get books on love and begin to study books on love. That's not how it works. I'm sorry to tell you this truth. It works by abiding in him. We abide he produces the fruit in us. We abide. He produces the fruit in us. Oh, you want to do something wrong. You are so tempted to do what is wrong. And I've always said it. See, Adam and Eve, you know, the problem was not that they were tempted to eat the fruit. They should have just exercised self-control. How should they have exercised self-control? Okay, Satan, thank you for this new information you've got given us. Uh, we, we are really considering it. But you know what? Allow us. When God comes in the cool of the day tonight, we'll ask him concerning this tree and this thing you have said, and, and, and we'll know. That would have saved them, <laughs> praise God. So it's the same thing. You are tempted to steal that money. You are tempted to, whatever you are, it's so strong. Hey, okay, I know what to do. Holy Spirit, it's embarrassing, but this is the truth. I'm really tempted to do this right now. And I, I, I need you to talk to me. And then when he speaks to you, he opens your eyes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I'm not going that way again. Now, what will the outsider see? Self-control. You see how these things work. Now, now, look at this now. It says in verse 16, it says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Listen, when you are bearing fruit and letting your fruit remain, how do you let your fruit remain? When you remain in him. Now, when you remain in him, it says anything you want. That thing that's in patience, you want to get by in patience, he can give it to you. That thing you need to get by stepping out of love to do it, he can give it to you. Anything you desire. Okay, someone is hurting me, but I don't know what to do. Talk to him. He can handle it for you. He can take that person away from your life. He can make that person to be at peace with you. The, man, the Bible says, if a man's way pleases God, how does a man's way please God? When he is bearing fruit. Look at what he said in verse 8. Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit. The more fruit we bear, the more the Father is glorified in us. My time is up <laughs> right now. Hey, listen. 
God is doing a work in your life. Submit to him and you will see the manifestation of his glory in your life. Have the best weekend ever. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.